Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to take one uh, important result of Z transform. So let us see what this result is. So this result says if Z transform of f of n is f of Z, then prove that Z transform of f of n upon n plus k is equal to Z to the power k into integration from Z to infinity f of Z upon Z to the power k plus 1 dz. This is what we have to prove. And to prove this result, we are going to make one adjustment. And for that, I am writing it as a note. So, before we start the solution of this, so let us write this as a note. So, this is uh, integration from z to infinity, z to the power minus of n plus k minus 1 dz. So, this integrate uh, this thing. Uh, to gate so what is the integration of z to the power minus of n plus k minus 1 so it should be z to the power minus of n plus k minus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled divide by minus of n plus k from limit z to infinity now the moment you apply upper limit minus lower limit so infinity power minus so this would be 1 by infinity 1 by infinity is 0 so, we will be getting 0 minus z to the power minus of n plus k upon minus of n plus k. Okay, because up lower limit is z only. So, no change to the this integration when you apply the lower limit. So, this will give you z to the power minus of n plus k upon n plus k. So, I am going to make use of this uh, note uh, in the proof of this result. Okay. So, let us now start with the proof or say solution of this property. So, what is uh, given to us? We are given that z transform of f of n is f of z. So, you can start with the definition of z transform by the definition of z transform by the definition of z transform we have so what we have z transform of f of n is equal to summation as n equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z power minus n okay what we want to prove we want to prove the result for z transform of f of n upon n plus k so just replace this f of n by f of n upon n plus k or you can write here put f of n is equal to f of n upon n plus k we get so what is it this is z transform of f of n upon n plus k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n upon n plus k into z power minus n. Okay, now what I am going to do is, I am going to adjust this, adjust k. Okay, so let me adjust it like z power minus k, z power plus k. Okay, similar adjustment we have uh, did in, in the previous property that is shifting property. Now taking z power k outside, so this would be z, z power k uh, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into combining this z power minus of n plus k upon n plus k. Okay, and now I have written this as a note. So, I am going to replace this term by this integration. Okay. So, this is same as z power k summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n and this term will get replaced by this integration from z to infinity z power minus of n plus k minus 1 
dz. Any doubt up to this? Is it okay? Now, I am just reading this result now. Okay, so what is my left hand side? My left hand side is Z transform of F of N upon N plus K is equal to what is it? Z power K integration from Z to infinity and as this is integration with respect to Z F of N can be treated as constant so I can take it inside of the integration sign and write it as summation n equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z to the power minus of n plus k minus 1 dz okay now breaking this uh, z to the power minus of n plus k minus 1 i will write this one as z to the power k summation sorry integration z to infinity i will write this one as summation n equal to 0 to infinity f of n now breaking this and writing this as z power minus n into z power minus k minus 1 okay dz i will be getting so this would be z to the power k integration from z to infinity. What is the summation n equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z to the power minus n? That is z transform of z transform of f of n into z to the power minus of k plus 1 dz. And what is we are given that z transform of f of n is f of z. So this is z power k integration from z to infinity this is f of z which is given to us now take this to the denominator so it should be z to the power k plus 1 dz okay so this is z transform of f of n upon n plus k clear so this completes the proof of the result now i am going to take one problem on this uh, result for better understanding of the application part so you need to remember this result because we are going to make use of it in order to solve the problem okay so let me rub this using above result using above result find find z transform of 1 upon n plus 1 so this is the result okay so we have to make use of this result to get the z transform of this okay so if you compare this with this so what you'll be getting f of n is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 okay so here you can start with so here you can start with what is it let f of n is equal to 1 f of n is equal to 1 okay and k is equal to 1 f of n is 1 and k is equal to 1 okay f of n is 1 so what is f of z f of z is z transform of f of n which is z transform of 1 which is z transform of 1 
do you remember what is z transform of 1 the very first result that we have uh, done in the very beginning of this uh, unit which is z transform of 1 is z upon z minus 1 simple now you can make use of this property or the result therefore or we can just write we know that we know that what we know we know that z transform of f of n upon n plus k is equal to z to the power k integration from z to infinity f of z upon z to the power k plus 1 dz okay now we have to find out this so this implies z transform of 1 upon n plus 1 is equal to what is it z power k what we have k is equal to 1 so z power 1 integration from z to infinity f of z f of z is this so this is let me write down denominator first so this would be 1 by 1 plus 1 to z square into f of z f of z is z upon z minus 1 dz simple now 1 z will get cancelled so this get cancelled with this and we remain with z integration from z to infinity in the numerator we have just 1 upon z into z minus 1 dz okay now say this is to be my equation a okay so let me solve this okay so let me solve this by partial fraction you can also do it by adjustment so what would be the adjustment that you can do uh, plus z okay let me let me do it by partial fraction on easy way now 1 upon z into z minus 1 can be written as a by z plus b by z minus 1. So to find a, so to find this, we have to find this constant a and b. So to find a, I have told you the trick earlier in the beginning of the syllabus. So when you put a is equal to to get the value of a you have to make this quantity 0 in the left hand side so to find out a put z is equal to to make this quantity i have to put z is equal to 0 so what i will be getting yes i will be getting a is equal to 1 upon 0 into 0 minus 1 so a is equal to minus 1 to find out this constant b what i need to do i just need to make it zero so to make it zero i need to put z is equal to one so put z is equal to one in the left hand side so b is equal to what is it one upon z so one by one is one excluding this factor okay so i repeat to get the value of a you have to make this quantity zero and this quantity can be made 0 by putting z is equal to 0. So put z is equal to 0 in this. Okay. So put z is equal to 0 in this excluding this factor. So what is it? 1 upon 0 minus 1. So a is equal to minus 1. Okay. Likewise to find out b I have to put z is equal to 1. So put z is equal to 1 in the left hand side of this term excluding this term so what is it 1 upon 1 is 1 okay so i can continue with that and this will gives integration from z to infinity a is what is it a is minus minus 1 by z plus 1 by z minus 1 so I will write the positive term first 1 upon z minus 1 minus 1 by z dz is it okay now just integrate this so when you integrate you will be getting z 
इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस इज लॉग ऑफ z माइनस वन माइनस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वन बाय z इज लॉग z एंड लिमिट z टू इंफिनिटी नाउ अप्लाई अपर लिमिट माइनस लोअर लिमिट Now applying the upper limit minus lower limit. Before that, uh, let me continue with this. Z transform of one upon n plus one is equal to log a minus log b is log of a by b. So I will write it as log of z minus one by z. Okay, limit from. Z to infinity, and we have one Z outside of this. Okay, so this is Z times log of Z minus one by Z. Okay, now you can take one by Z common from Z common from here, and you can write this one as log of Z common. So one minus one by Z upon Z. Okay, this gate cancel. Now you apply the upper limit minus lower limit. So this would be log of this would be z into log of the moment you put z is equal to infinity. So one by infinity is zero. So we remain with one log one minus put z is equal to z. So this is log of one minus one by z. Okay, and as you know, the value of log one is zero. So value of log one is zero. So this is z into zero minus log of. Now you can take the LCM of this. So this is z minus one by z. Applying the property, you'll be getting log of z upon z minus one. So this is nothing but z transform of one upon n plus one is this. So I hope the result that we have taken and the property is clear to you. For any queries, you can uh, ask. So thank you for watching this learning video and happy learning. Thank you.